The Wall Street Journal's Charles Levinson joins us now from Tel Aviv to explain why there is now a Palestinians only bus line from the West Bank. Charles, thank you for being there. Thank you for staying up late. My pleasure. So t t tell us about what's going on with the buses and uh, whether it is truly a segregated bus line. Well, it's not, it's not technically segregated. I mean, the, the, the Israeli transportation ministry, the officials are, are being clear that anybody can still ride any bus. The story was is that basically uh, the, up till today, the, 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 the main bus that was transporting Palestinian day laborers from the West Bank to Tel Aviv was a bus line that was primarily created to service Jewish settlers in the West Bank. Um, it was inconvenient for Palestinians. Uh, they ended up having to either take that bus um, or take this sort of uh, patchwork network of, of private uh, minibuses, which cost a lot more and, and, and was, took longer. Um, but And the settlers started to complain. They didn't want to share the bus with the Palestinians because they said it was a security concern. They often would get on the bus later than the Palestinians who were returning from Tel Aviv, and that would mean they didn't have any seats. Um, and, and, and so the, the transportation ministry created two more bus lines, which are actually helpful to the Palestinians in the sense that they, you know, it is easier for them to take these bus, these new bus lines in the old system, and it is cheaper. Um, but the fact that these decisions are being taken um, in what appears to be a response to sort of settler demands to ride buses without Palestinians has really sort of triggered uh, something of a, you know, ha has made this a very controversial move here here in Israel. The transportation minister is a very conservative member of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party. Uh, that party has seen sort of settlers gain a lot of influence, um, especially just in the past few months. So, it, I, and because, you know, Buses in general are such a sort of explosive, historic, symbolic issue when it comes to you know race relations and segregation. I think it's really sort of you know captured the, the captured attention here in Israel in a way that you know perhaps other and even perhaps more serious issues sometimes don't. Very quickly, Charles, what's the reaction been uh, among the Palestinians? Are they, are they happy about it because it's more convenient, or is there some outrage because it, it's perceived as segregation? You know, I. I the, the, there's so much, I think, outrage and sort of weariness of the whole conflict and sort of hopelessness on the Palestinian side. Um, you know, the, 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 and the number of Palestinians that are given permits to work in Israel is so small also that the Palestinians we spoke with today were sort of like, you know, what's the, you know, whatever. You know, yeah, we know there's, there's you know, the settlers don't like us. We don't like the settlers. You know, this bus route's okay. It wasn't, it, it wasn't causing a huge, uh, you know, issue among Palestinians. I think, you know, to them, there's, you know, the, 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 the much bigger issues of the ongoing occupation, the fact that, you know, growing settlements and this and that, these are sort of the, the real big issues to them. You know, this sort of symbolic, you know, bus line is just sort of one symptom of, of a much bigger issue. Than, and, and, and at the end of the day, the practical effects on the ground of these new bus lines for, for, the, for the small fraction of Palestinians that are, are, have work permits to work in Tel Aviv, you know, was actually a net gain, arguably. So you weren't seeing, you know, the, the biggest violence on the day, funnily enough, was uh, by the, the mostly Bedouin, Israeli Bedouins, who were driving the microbuses that the Palestinians were using to get to Tel Aviv before the, the transportation ministry started these new lines. Because now these guys are out of work. So they had sort of apparently had sort of staged a little bit of a demonstration and some rock throwing when the new bus lines tried to get started today. Um, so it just shows you just how complicated and convoluted and sort of murky all these, uh, you know, these issues and relationships can be. Okay, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much, as always. Uh, it's Charles Levinson of The Wall Street Journal in Tel Aviv. We appreciate your time, sir.